Welcome to your OSAN 2-Minute Report. I'm Senior Airman Angeline Pangilinan. U.S. and Republic of Korea soldiers train together routinely, so when there's a real threat, they know how to communicate, operate, and work together. Senior Airman Patrick Kilgore takes us to Yeoju, Korea, and shows us how U.S. and ROC soldiers work together to sharpen their skills in an air assault exercise. It's a calm winter afternoon at Tactical Assembly Area Jerry in the central region of the Republic of Korea. And as this group of helicopters comes in for landing, these ROC soldiers are getting ready to board. Today we're doing combined air assault training with the 3rd ROC Army Air Assault Reserve Unit, the 7th Air Assault Battalion. This is the first time we've done that air assault training together as a combined task force. Today's training involves 20 U.S. and Korean helicopters the result of months of planning and preparing. This will validate all of our pre-mission planning and rehearsals to date that have been done via train board, briefings. This will be a first full-up rehearsal in preparation to do this thing under NVG conditions. This training gives soldiers at the lowest level the experience of practicing a real-world operation. Let's follow the renegades. While at the same time introducing them to some of the key players they'll interact with from the ROC Army. I think uh, flying with the Koreans is a good opportunity. Um, they get to see what we do and we get to see how they do things. Um, things are done a little bit different. They have Korean aircraft out here too. So. For many U.S. soldiers, this experience was their first chance to work with their Korean counterparts. But with 2010 already underway, Lieutenant Colonel Lewis says these soldiers will have more opportunities like this one in the months to come. Airman Patrick Kilgore, Tactical Assembly Area Jerry, Yoju, Korea.